What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update on the Cordyceps projects. So it's been about three weeks since I inoculated our single Ascospore isolates. And then we transferred those um, single Ascospores with different mating types onto plates. And we finally got our first uh, mated pairings. So you can see here on this plate how the two colonies have fused together. So we've got C, C6 and C8 and those colonies kind of overlapped and fused together and then they're gonna take over this plate. Um, but if you look at one of these pairings like C9, C8, you can see this zone of differentiation right here. So that is indicative of um, two mating types that aren't compatible and they'll kind of form their own colonies. Um, but we crossed, you know, all of them with each other and we ended up with quite a few of um, some mated pairings. Like there's another good one right there. So we're going to select for the fastest growers at this point just because we want to get some fruits as quickly as we can. And here is the um, isolated street that I presumed have been mated and you can see it's growing out pretty rigorous too so I'm gonna keep this one um, separate and then fruit that along with our liquid culture so that it's kind of exciting we've got um, our multi spore liquid culture that's growing out so all of those can be different phenotypes and just like on a petri dish they're gonna form their zones of inhibition and you can see um, there's some really nice spherical colonies that are forming and the idea is that over time the strongest mycelium will take over the liquid culture and then we can inoculate that and um, then clone the subsequent fruiting body to select for a specific phenotype. So we've got the multi-spore liquid culture right here that's been brewing for about a week now. And then we've got this streak colony that was mated on the first plate. And then a bunch of our subsequent mating pairings that we're gonna be going through these every day and selecting um, the strongest mycelium and um, selecting out for any contamination that might pop up. But another exciting um, experiment that's starting to show some promise are these beetles. So you can see right there, um, we've got some growth on our Japanese beetle that we inoculated with some cordyceps tissue on water auger. So, the beetle seems to be providing enough nutrients for the mycelium to jump onto the beetle and colonize it. The next step of the beetle project is going to be selecting that mycelium from the beetle and then growing it out on auger and trying to get it to fruit. So I'll keep you guys posted on that in the future, um, but it's really exciting. I have my doubts that the cordyceps mycelium will be able to adjust to a specific beetle like this but it seems promising and i'll keep you posted on um, any updates in the future so give us a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you're looking forward to more videos like these um, share this information if you think anyone else would find it useful and we're going to be doing a few more um, live q a streamings in the next month or so so my friend zach and i were doing a video for um, Colorado Mycological Society that it's going to be a virtual demonstration with some Q&A so if you're interested in joining that um, we're still working out the schedule and I should be having some more um, live streams in the near future and lots more videos coming up. Love. <laughs>